If a guitar comes into your life and you have to lie to your spouse about it or cover up how much it costs, that's a bad move. Enough has to be enough. I have never struggled and I've heard a lot of people ask me this question. I've, I've had people through the years tell me that they don't feel like they are good enough to own a nice guitar. A lot of people talk themselves out of a guitar that could fit into their world, um, but for whatever reason through, you know, just some insecurities or whatever they've got going on, they feel like they're not good enough and they don't deserve that good guitar. And um, I've never struggled with that and I have advice for that, but this video is about enough. Now I have to talk about my guitars and gear because there are 21 instruments that belong to me that are in this room. It's almost everything I own. There's probably a couple things that I'm forgetting that are hidden. There's a couple back there and there might be, I don't think there's anything in the house, but who knows? No, there are definitely some in the house that belong to me, technically, that my kids share with me. But yeah, let's talk about enough. Here is a rapid fire of everything that I own that is in this room. When I started this channel, I was working full time as a sales rep. I sold high tech gadgets in oil and gas for health and safety. And I was covering a huge territory, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, the panhandle of Florida, Southern Arkansas sometimes, Tennessee sometimes, East Texas sometimes. I found myself running down the highway and hotels are pretty boring to me. Movies are pretty boring once you've seen so many of them and going to the theater. So I found myself needing to find ways to fill my time. And I loved guitars, but because I was in a self-employed position for years, I, uh, you know, when you choose between taking care of your family and owning guitars, if you choose guitars, you're kind of a bad person. And so for me, I had sold almost everything. I had sold guitars that felt really special and important to me, a 61 Gibson J50 and a Martin D35. I had sold in my 52 Tele reissue. I had sold the few guitars that meant the world to me, and I thought that I would have had forever. But I'm driving around, I started this YouTube channel when I started finding opportunities to find really cool, ridiculous guitars uh, around the Deep South. And so I just started bringing a camera with me, and from there it has snowballed into this crazy thing. Now a few years ago I moved from uh, South Louisiana, we moved back to my hometown in the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. More guitars continued to find me, moving back to my hometown where I have just been the guy who loves guitars forever. I am not my audience. That's the thing that I have to always remember. I get to own an obscene amount of guitars because my job, my life, my uh, place in this world, my place in this world um, is Michael W. Smith. You didn't see that coming. Um, but my place in the guitar world is to help people figure out what guitars are right for them. So let me answer the first question. What is enough? Okay, one guitar is enough. The best guitar for you is the one that you already have. Most people, almost everybody, it's not hard. You could have a couple guitars. You could have a couple guitars for under $100 total if you really are setting at like straight up pawn shop yard sale, old silver tones, old harmonies. You could get really, really cheap guitars. But for most people, one guitar is good. One guitar is you play some songs, you pick out some tunes, uh, you play it at a campfire, you play it at church a little bit. One guitar is what most everybody needs. If I were you, I would say probably three guitars is a, is a much better kind of pairing. And I would say two acoustic guitars, one electric guitar. Uh, I would say because acoustic guitars are better, watch this video about acoustic guitars being better. But uh, for most people, I would say two or three guitars. You would need a dreadnought acoustic guitar. It is a reliable, big, boomy sound. So I would look, so I own, I mean, I own absurd examples of these. Like my Martin D18 Authentic, that is, it is a mahogany dreadnought. Now this is a very expensive, it's like $8,400 now for the retail on that one. But you could get uh, an Eastman E1 for like 500 and some dollars. And that guitar would do everything you need to do. Solid, uh, that would be Sapelli back and sides. And then a spruce top. A big dreadnought because it is warm and it's loud and it works well. People can sing along with it. It's loud enough that they can hear it. 
you could do all of the musical things you need to do with that basic kind of guitar around the $500 range. The next guitar, if you're playing electric guitar, you need to get a cool guitar. Get a Telecaster, get a, a used Mexican like from the 90s or any of the Squire stuff now is so good and so reliable. Those are the two guitars. If you're only gonna have one or two, you could do that. So let me continue playing this out of my mind. To do it totally right, you could buy a Fender for like 400 bucks and the, you know, a classic vibe telly or a used Mexi telly for another 400, 500. So around a thousand bucks, you have a full on badass, awesome electric guitar setup. And then that sets you up to get another acoustic guitar that's just a little different, a little more thoughtful. And this is where you would just let your own kind of flavor go into how you would play that guitar. Are you a finger style player? If so, get a smaller size guitar. Are you a real heavy strummer? Get a fun Jomo, get an, get an Epiphone EJ200, get something fun, something cool. Are you good enough? Period, question mark to own this guitar. Are you good enough as a player, as a person? Are you the right person to own this expensive guitar? I have never really struggled with this until just the last few months. Um, when I get to where I have, I don't have a normal guitar collection at this point. I have an obscene guitar collection. I have guitars that are so much more expensive than I ever thought that I would get to own in my life. And that is thanks to you, and that is thanks to uh, just the momentum and the relationships that I've been able to make making this channel over the years. But it means the world to me that I get to own this. Now, it's not about the stuff, it's about the people. Uh, but for the first time, I'm starting to feel like, oh man, like, I have a Showalter OM. That's an incredibly special guitar to me. I have a Ferk Vintage 2 OM that I got to fly across the country, uh, the world, and go to the Czech Republic and meet the guys that build this. I have a Martin Authentic D18. That is my, that has been my dream guitar. A pre-war spec Martin has been my dream since I was 14 years old. You look at all of my electric guitars. I have a Gibson Country Western over here. This is, that's the guitar. When I look through my Google Photos, it always says, look at the memories, and then it shows me 15 of those that every time I've seen one for my entire adult life since I've had a Google phone that tracks my photos, I've taken a picture of that one. I've wanted that one every single time. I look at the list of those guitars, even individually, even in pairs, even in little trios. I don't play them enough, is what I feel like. I'm not a good enough player. I've been... Living the YouTube life um, is a very strange one. I play guitar very differently when I'm not playing in front of a camera. I wish that I could blend those two together because I'm a much better, let me, I'll be honest. I'm a much better guitar player, I think, or at least I have more fun when I'm playing just by myself, when I'm playing on my front porch, when I'm not thinking about oh, the camera and the microphone and did, am I playing too hard? Am I clipping the mic? When I'm in the moment, when I'm just making, that's when I feel like these guitars are remarkable. You were made to make guitars, uh, and you could own guitars in a way that they're good for you, they make you a better version of yourself, they're good for your spouse, they're good for your family, they're good for your community. Uh, this is one of the ways in which I know I disagree with big high pressure guitar retailers, is that I will die on this hill. Um, I think guitars have to make you a better version of yourself. They have to be good for you and for your life. If a guitar comes into your life and you have to lie to your spouse about it or cover up how much it costs, that's a bad move. You were made to make music and you were, you were made to cause flourishing in the world. People to come the best versions of themselves for injustice to be made right. I mean, there is a large uh, there's a large burden on all of our shoulders as humans. That's just, sorry, that's just the gig. If you play your cards right, you can own these guitars in such a way that they don't cost you any money. Listen, like, I am on the up on every one of these. I've only lost money on two guitars in the thousands of guitars I've owned. And even then, I lost about $2,200 total over the course of owning thousands of guitars. I've probably spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on guitars at this point. And I've made, been able to make a living uh, buying and selling guitars in a way that I can sleep at night. I do not feel unethical or like I have gouged anyone. Uh, I often cut it much closer than I know my bigger uh, guitar retailing friends and contemporaries do. So I sleep really well at night.
you have to rediscover what enough is. We were thinking like, if we would move houses, um, I have too many guitars. <laughs> like, if unless I'm prepared to commit a bedroom in our house or uh, to renovate a garage or a basement or to put a bunch of money into a space, I literally own too many guitars to fit into a reasonable sized middle class house. I own too many guitars, like guitars that I made with dear friends, my show Walter, guitars that I've dreamed of forever, guitars that friends have made me like Steve and Rasmus and Ben Paget and uh, Peter and the Ferk team. I get to where I own these guitars. I, I keep my Fender American Pro Strat 2 because that was the first real sponsored video. That's the first YouTube video I felt like I actually mattered in the guitar world. Um, and so with that one, I hang on to it. Rich made this, uh, made my Nocaster and it's my favorite Telecaster I've ever owned. And uh, yeah, my Pink Paisley. So I'm, I'm at a place where I own so many instruments that are so special to me. I can't get any more. I mean, I, I literally, I have two more coming this year from incredible friends. And at that point, I am bursting at the seams. So once you discover what is enough, by the end of this year, most things I'm going to have to sell. I'm going to keep most of this stuff, um, but I have to clear stuff out because I have to regain a sense of enough. I'm accepting the reality that I can't own every guitar that I love. I can't play the guitars I own. I mean, that's the reality. The more hustle I have and like where my family is, I'm just going to have less time to play guitar. And I will choose for, I will choose my family. I will choose the, the larger responsibilities in life. Being a good and present parent uh, is more important than being good at guitar. So uh, I'm coming into a time where I will have even less time than I already feel like I have now. So I want to invite you. I think we need to work through and figure out what is enough. What is a reasonable amount of time and energy and effort uh, to put into your guitars? And you can have it to where you've got some freaking killers. That's what I want to do. I want to get down to my absolute essential, just straight up killer instruments. And I'm there, I'm getting really close with the two that I had this year. I'm gonna have a Wright Luthery. I'm gonna own one from Nathan Wright again. We're doing a custom model, more information on that coming soon. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy a Boucher guitar because I believe in Robin Boucher and I want to own one of those guitars. After that, I'm full. I, I It is really hard for me to bring anything else in after that. And uh, the only thing I would be looking for after that would be a nice 12 string guitar. And uh, so rediscover what is enough. And in doing that, you will start seeing where you have excess. And um, so I've been playing on this whole concept. I've been playing on these two things. Like what is enough physically, practically? Are you enough emotionally, relationally? And so I wanna tie it together. You are enough. And enough guitars is one. The best guitar for you is the one you already have. Um, the worst guitar for you is one that would cost you some humanity, that would make you spend money you don't have, uh, impose on people that love you, on your spouse, uh, that would cost your family financially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope you work through this. Yeah. It's my favorite kind of video to make. So thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy, this is Guitar Hunter. Thank you for every view on this channel. Thank you for all the relationships that have come out as of, as of this channel. Thank you to every patron, every channel member. Patrons, uh, these videos don't happen without you. It is what funds, I mean, YouTube channels, they get kind of expensive to run month over month because it's just bills and things. So I'm gonna continue to travel, continue making cool guitar videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.